let's get straight to it. 2008 Nissan Altima. This is the 2.5 liter engine. And today we are changing spark plugs and ignition coils. So this is all you should need to get this job done. You're going to need this five millimeter Allen and you can just use a regular Allen. It doesn't have to be a socket. You're gonna need this to get these off. Now this looked like it's stripped. It could have been um, something else, but right now the five millimeters working for, for me to get these off. So you're gonna need that to get those. You're going to need this 14 millimeter to get your spark plug uh, out. Normally, um, it's uh, like right here. Normally it's a five eighths or 13 sixteens, but these ones are too big. So I have to use a 14 millimeter and then I'm gonna use this uh, magnet here to get it out once I um, loosen it with the 14 millimeter. And of course you're gonna need a uh, 10 millimeter for the battery and of course uh, a ratchet and extension to get it out. So I'm gonna start by using my 10 millimeter to loosen my negative battery terminal and get that terminal off. And set that to the side. Make sure it doesn't jump back up there. There's three mini five millimeter bolts. They're um, five millimeter hex. Go ahead and get those out. All right, once I got that cover up, now we can see everything that we need to get to. So these are the ignition coils that we're changing. You can see how easy it is to get to that. And the spark plugs are right underneath. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to undo these harnesses. All you have to do is pull, push down on this clip and just pull back until that comes off like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of those off. All right, so we got all of the harnesses off. Now this is a 10 millimeter bolt. So we have to go ahead and get all four of those 10 millimeters up. Of course I'm using a drill, but you can Obviously, just use your regular ratchet and your 10 millimeter. All right, I got my bolts out and I set them safely out of the way. Now, to get these up, what I like to do is turn side to side as I pull upwards on them. And just like that, usually I would, um, you know, um, save the orientation of these. So like I took out this one here, I'll put it there and another one there, I'll put it here. But since we're doing brand new um, ignition coils. There's no reason to keep up with them. So I'm just gonna toss these to the side. Okay, so I have all the ignition coils up. So now it's time to get the spark plugs out. So this is my setup here. Of course, my 14 millimeter deep socket. Um, my extension and my ratchet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these spark plugs loose and then I'm going to use my magnet and get those out. Now, if you don't have a magnet, you can use the old uh, ignition coil and just stick it down there and pull the uh, spark plugs up. Okay, they're all pretty loose now. So first I'm gonna show you how I use the magnet to get it out so that's with the magnet there and now I'm going to show you how I can use the uh, spark plug uh, boot on the, uh, the ignition coil to get it out so just once you know it's straight there then you can just get it out like that All right, so we're getting ready to put our new spark plugs in, but um, first make sure that they are gapped to their specific um, gap specs. 
and so my way of putting them in to get them started is to put them on to the uh, the end of the ignition coil and also you can use a little bit of anti-seize that you know if you if it came with it or you can buy anti-seize for it and put it down in there and you will notice it doesn't go all the way down so now you can start to turn it and thread it until you get it threaded in enough to where you can pull the ignition coil up and off and now it's in there um it's not tight yet but so far all we want to do is get those down there safely without damaging them so let's get the other three down the same exact way all right so once i have them down there i'll come back with my wrench and my extension and i will tighten them down the proper way so we're gonna do that for all four of these all right so I got them all tightened down and torqued down so now it's time to um, go to the next step all right so these are the new ignition coils that I had to put back on there so the same exact way that we got the old ones out is how we're gonna get these new ones in so we're gonna just take them and make sure it's orientated to where um, this side here is where the screw hole is. And just press it down nice and firm. You can, if you can turn it a little bit just to make sure. And go ahead and drop in the other three the exact same way. You wanna make sure that gets all the way seated on the spark plug. right so now I'm gonna go ahead and put these um, these harnesses back on the reason why I'm doing the harnesses before the bolts is that way I can move these if I need to to you know be able to angle the harnesses better so it shouldn't be that hard to get on anyways see I'm doing it with, with just one hand so let's go ahead and put all four of these harnesses back on like I said, just doing that with one hand. All right, all four harnesses are secure. Now it's time to get the bolts, just get them started a little bit by hand. And second one. Third one, fourth one. Good thing this is just a four cylinder, not an eight. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my wrench and my 10 millimeter and tighten these down. All right, so they're all tightened down, all four of the uh, brand new ignition coils. So they're nice and secure, they're all attached. So that's pretty much it as far as changing them. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get our cover back on here. All right, so the cover's back on. So that's pretty much it, guys. The, uh, the tune-up is done. The spark plugs and ignition coils are now changed. So let's just put our negative battery terminal back on. And then we can start her up and see if there's a difference or not should be a difference all right guys well that is it so thank you for tuning in once again um, we just changed the uh, spark plugs and the ignition coils on a 2008 Nissan Altima